Welcome to WD Toys. Wow, guys, it's great to see you again. I'm so glad you came back. We're going to have another awesome show today. Today we have another awesome Schleich collectible dinosaur. I've done a review on pretty much all of the Jurassic World toys, and I've got a lot of comments from people asking me to review the Schleich and the Papal dinosaurs. So here is some of them. If you do like these lines of reviews, make sure you leave me comments so that I could review more of them. Because there is a lot more. Or if you have another line of dinosaurs that you like, let me know about it. And then I will try to review them. So here is the Schleich Velociraptor. Personally, I did a review a little bit ago of the... Papo Velociraptor, which I think has a lot more details, and I do like it a lot more than the Schleich one. I mean, Schleich does a great uh, job with the details on these dinosaurs, much better than Jurassic World, but Papo seems to do a much better job. So let wa watch them all and let me know. Uh, these videos are in my Jurassic World dinosaur playlist. And once I'm done reviewing this one, I will also show you the uh, Papo one so you can see the difference. And I will show you one from Jurassic World so you could also compare the difference with that one. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. They do a great job detailing these guys. I really like the job they did. I mean, here is a view of its head. You can see it's got like textures, like a textured ridge above his eye. He's got like a little yellow eye. He's got, his teeth do seem to be one piece and painted. Which the Papal one also does have. But the Papal one, the way its teeth are painted, they look individual. So here, continuing on down his neck. I mean, he does have like a rough, textured feel to his whole body. But it doesn't have all the ridge and muscle detail that the Papal ones do. And then continuing on, here is a look at his arm. He is in like a uh, running almost like a fullback position. Almost like if you handed him the football, he'll take off running. <laughs> or maybe a linebacker position. Not really sure. Okay, then here uh, you have like a... It's like a brownish gold color. I mean, he is a little... Sparkly, almost like almost glitter sparkly to him so that that sort of tech takes away from the uh, originalness of the uh, the figure and then like I said I mean here is his arm the way he does have cool cool looking claws the way he's posed his arm is helping to hold him up which is also with the Papal one. I mean, his arms are up in the air. He's pretty much the same position, but his arms are up in the air. He doesn't need his arms to balance him. I mean, it seems like this guy, if his arm wasn't there, he would fall over. So that, I, I take away points for that too. I mean, he does have the ripping claw, but it's not as pronounced looking as the Papal one. I mean, it almost looks like one of his regular claws are just sticking up a little bit. So that that's not the greatest there either. I mean, he does have a textured look on his feet. Like the textured chicken look to his feet, which is cool. I mean, his coloring is cool. I like the blend of it. I just don't like how it's like shiny. Like I said, almost, I mean, if you look at that, it's almost like glitterized so I, I don't know okay his third claw looks better on this side I mean it seems to stick out more pronounced and you can see he does have ridge detail on his feet over there and then continuing on his other arm 
is up in the air. So, I mean, I like the way his other arm is. And his jaw is also articulated, which is a nice feature for these dinosaurs. I mean, they do, they do a nice job painting his eyes, but... <sighs> I, I hate to keep bringing it out, but the Papal one does a much better job. <laughs> As you will see soon, because... Or if you've already watched my uh, review on the Papal Velociraptor, you know that he does a lot better. Okay, well, let's take a look at the, this guy from underneath, too. Okay, here's a view of the bottom of him. Uh, they sort of went a little cheap on the bottom of this guy. I mean, they just painted him white. If you look at the, uh, Papal, my review on the Papal one, I mean, they kept the detail and the ridge and the muscle detail and everything on the bottom. I mean, I, I like how they did the feet on this one. I mean, they got the ridge lines in the feet. Okay, uh, let's get the Papal one and take a look at them side by side. Okay, there is the Papal one. It is about the same size, maybe just a little bigger, but if you look at the detail on this Papal one, check out my full review on my uh, playlist, Jurassic World. You'll find it under uh, Papal Velociraptor because, I mean, the, the difference in detail is pretty astounding. And here he is. In size comparison to the Jurassic World Velociraptor, you can see he's probably about half the size. But the Jurassic uh, World one does not have that great detail. So this Schleich one is even better detail than the Jurassic World one. But it's just not as good detail as the Papo one. Well guys, let me know what you think. And guys, today's... Uh, Secret word is Papo, P-A-P-O. So if you watch this whole video, make sure you leave me a comment down below the video. There's a comment box and put the word Papo in it. Or if you're already leaving me a comment, just add Papo to it. And I'll know that you watched this whole video and that you're a true Jurassic World dinosaur fan and that you really like these videos. Wow, guys, that was so much fun. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you wait till this video ends, there's an awesome end card. A lot more fun videos with Jurassic World and Peppa Pig and Minions and Star Wars and Good Dinosaur. Well, I hope to see you soon.